let's have a quick demonstration. First, we upload a PDF. This PDF is about dengue, extracted from WHO. Then we make a query. Let's ask, what are the symptoms of dengue? It process for some time and we get back response based on the provided PDF. Like this. It is really interesting. This is simple yet powerful Python project to understand the fundamentals of retrieval augmented generation. Let's get started. With large language models like GPT, Gemini, we provide query. LLM process given query and we get back response. LLM impressively answer query, but can generate false or outdated information. Their reasoning is not always transparent or tractable. Retrieval augmented generation, RAG has emerged as promising solution by incorporating knowledge from external databases. We provide query from external source relevant context to that query is retrieved. This context is augmented to the query to form a prompt. The prompt is feed to LLM. Finally, we get context of a response that is up to date, valid, factual with transparent reasoning. For this project, we will follow this simple RAG architecture. We have retriever to retrieve relevant context from external database, generator that leverages context query prompt and LLM to produce responses, and RAG pipeline to combine both retriever and generator. So how does retriever and generator work? Suppose we have PDF document that describes about GAT. It is divided into chunks. Chunks are converted to embeddings. Embeddings and corresponding chunks are stored into vector database. That is called indexing. User's query is converted to query embedding. That is used for similarity search. The embeddings are ranked based on the similarity metrics using various similarity search algorithms. Finally, Retriever returns top k chunks similar to query that will be used as context. Inside generator, context and query is combined to form a prompt that is feed to LLM. Finally, LLM generates answer based on that context. This is directory structure for our project. I'm inside intelligent retriever. We need a virtual environment here. We created virtual environment. Let's activate this. We activated virtual environment. Create requirements.txt. Add all of this. This installs all the requirements. It may take some time. Let's create all directories we need. This is our data directory to save all of the PDF documents. This is retriever, generator, and pipeline. Now the coding time. Let's create a retriever. From pypdf2 import PDF reader. Import re for regex. Method to read PDF. This method is for pre-processing text to remove redundant white space and convert text to lowercase. Fias, that is Facebook AI Similarity Search is an open source library developed by Meta AI for efficient similarity search and clustering of dense vector. We use this for indexing. Second, import NumPy. Vector store have index to store embeddings, data to store corresponding chunks. This is dimension to define the number of elements in each vector. Add vector method is used to add embeddings and corresponding chunks to the vector store. Search method is used to make search in vector store, giving query vector to retrieve top case similar context. Sentence transformer is used for encoding, that is converting text to embedding. Vector store we created earlier. Method to read PDF and process text. Retriever has model for encoding and vector store for indexing. Index document method allow for indexing. We read PDF, pre-process text, divide the text into chunks, this method splits the text into chunks. Embeddings are created using model. Embedding and corresponding chunks are added to the vector store. Inside the search method, we convert query into query vector using same model, then make search in vector store. Second, we create generator. Prompt templates.py has the method to create prompt that combines context and query to create final prompt. Import OS from .env import load.env import google.generative AI as GenAI. This is to set up API key. For this, we must have .env file inside intelligent retriever with API key like this. Generator has model configured with API key. We are using Gemini 1.5 flash. We can use free tier for this project. You can get your API from the link in the description. 
generate method help to feed prompt to our generator model and get back response. Pipeline combines both retriever and generator together. Import retriever, import generator, import method to create prompt. Rag pipeline has retriever to retrieve context and generator to generate response. Inside run method, we index document, retrieve context, create prompt, and generate response using that prompt. Finally, let's create a GUI. Import streamlit, OAS, and rag pipeline. Set up page title. This will be our app title. We allow user to upload a PDF. Save the uploaded PDF to corpus directory we created earlier. We ask for the prompt to the user. Process the query using rag pipeline and return the response. This is the logic to generate response based on the query and provided context once the retrieve information button is clicked. Let's run the application. A streamlet run GUI.py. There we go. Now we can upload PDF, make a query, and get back answer based on the given PDF. Hope this video is worth watching. Source code is available in the GitHub. You can access the readings as well. Check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching.